Next on Journey to Planet Earth. Violence, terrorism, and environmental inequities. Are they the new national security issues of the 21st century? Severe poverty and suicide bombings in Bangladesh. South Africa, struggling after apartheid. Peru, on the brink of another revolution. Haiti, spiraling deeper into poverty and gang warfare. And migrants pouring across the Mexican border. Coming up, Journey to Planet Earth investigates the global link between environmental pressures and political instability. Hi, I'm Matt Damon, and welcome to Journey to Planet Earth. In this episode, we investigate a growing national security threat, how environmental pressures can lead to extreme violence. We will journey to places where waves of terrorism and regional conflict have touched people, both rich and poor. But our program is not without stories of hope and courage, and we will find them in some of the most unexpected places. So please join me now as we begin our journey. Places in the world where people live in extreme poverty. Where disease and scarcities of water and food are overwhelming. There are also places in the world where political alienation breeds anger, helplessness, and despair. When and where these problems intersect has led to one of the most serious national security problems of our time. For those who enjoy the luxury of living in the West, consider what you are about to see a wake-up call as we investigate the link between environmental pressures and extreme violence throughout the world. Tonight, the streets of Calcutta come alive. But behind the shimmering mask of endless neon, there's a place Kipling called the City of Dreadful Night. In the unflinching light of day, the enormous difficulties facing 13 million inhabitants seem almost overwhelming. particularly evident in Calcutta's densely populated and crime-ridden slums. Unemployment is high. The lucky ones work long, back-breaking hours as part of the city's unskilled and cheap labor force. Despite all the hardships, this has become a popular refuge for illegal immigrants from neighboring Bangladesh. Venkateswar Ramaswamy knows this place well. As a community activist, much of his time is spent helping the disenfranchised. Over the last two decades or so, impoverished uh, Bangladeshis keep coming into India for livelihood. They may be here for just a day or a few days or a few months. So for the poor, boundaries don't really matter. When they have to survive, they will scale any boundaries. They'll go over them, through them or under them because poverty does not recognize boundaries. The story of Bangladeshis fleeing their homeland to live in squalor in Calcutta's slums is about poverty, anger, and violence. It's about a country shrouded in ancient myths and legends. Here in Bangladesh, life has never been about half measures. It's more about extremes. 
This is a country of rare and exotic beauty. A place with exceptional moments of sheer magic. But living in a country of extremes can also be exhausting. <laughs>